Hi, welcome to 53 Notes where we're going to talk about inequalities. And inequality is a mathematical sentence that compares quantities that are not necessarily equal. Now, up until this point, we have been dealing with equations. In an equation, things are equal. Now we're saying inequality, meaning they are not equal. Things are not necessarily equal. The popular symbols for inequalities are less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. So we're comparing their size and we're saying they're not necessarily equal. For example, your height is greater than 52 inches. So the first thing you need to do is decide a variable. Let's use H for height. And it says your height is greater than 52 inches. That's how you would write that sentence. Height greater than 52 inches. That's the abbreviation for greater than. Then we can look at your speed is less, that should say less than, of course less than or equal or equal to 62 miles per hour so let's say s is for speed i like to put a little curl on my s so our speed is less than or equal to 62 miles per hour so the difference in this one and the first one is there's an equal to so you might equal 62 but you could also be less than in your speed so when you translate that sentence into an inequality statement, you say S less than or equal to 62 miles per hour. There are a lot of terms or a lot of words that will signify which symbol to use. We're going to talk about those in class tomorrow. So bring your book and we'll look at page 235 together. So before um, I let you off the hook that easy, let's look at a couple of example problems. It says, for the given value, state whether the inequality is true or false. Do not just put true or false. You're going to show me the work to back up your answer. So if x is 6, in place of x, if we plug in 6, is this a true statement? 6 minus 9, when you subtract with opposite signs, you always subtract and keep the sign of the larger value. So negative 3 compared to 4. Is negative 3 less than 4? Think of your number line. Negative 3 will be over here. 4 will be over there. And yes, negative 3 is less than 4. So that is a true statement. The next uh, question says if x is 36, is this inequality true? So let's plug in. In place of a, we're going to plug in 36. And when you divide 36 by 3, you get 12. And 12 plus 1 gives us 13. And I think we already know that 14 does not equal 13, nor is 13 greater than 14. Because on our number line, it'll go 13 and then 14. So 13 is not greater than or equal to. That is not a true statement. So you'll write the word false as your answer. Okay, flip your paper over. We got a couple of more um, examples with some typos. So please correct and change your six to four here. And let's just change it to four here also. So if I ask you to graph x equals four, I hope everybody could go to the number line, find the point four and put a dot. X equals four, that's all you do to graph that. But if I ask you to graph the inequality, x is greater than or equal to four, well, it could equal 4, so we still put a dot on 4 because it says equal. But then everything to the right of that point is going to be greater than. So is 5 true? Sure, 5 is greater than or equal to 4. Is 10 true? Sure, 10 is greater than or equal to 4. What about negative 3? No, it's not greater than or equal to 4. Therefore, it's not part of our graph. Try C without me for just a second. Now, if you went to 1 and you put a dot, be careful. It's not equal to. It says x is less than 1. So that means it's not equal to 1. What about negative 
1.9. Okay, that would work because it'd be right here close to the negative 2. What about negative 1.1? That works too. But negative 1, it doesn't work. X is not going to equal 1 because it doesn't have the equal, doesn't have less than or equal to. They did not give us that. They said less than. So your graph will look like this. An open circle because it's not equal to. You should have done this last year. I hope it's coming back to you. Again, an open circle at 2 because there's no equal to. And where is x greater than 2? It's going to be to the right. Okay. Now it wants you to make up an inequality. You make up your very own inequality. I'm going to make one up. You can do a different one from me. It says, and then write the inequality after you uh, put something on your number line. <clears throat> so I'm going to do a closed circle pointing it to the right on negative 2. So x is greater than, because I went to the right, and I did a closed circle, so it could be equal to negative 2. x is greater than or equal to negative 2. That's what I just graphed. Now I'm going to do another graph. I'm going to do an open circle on 3 and point to the left. So I went less than, so x now is any point less than 3. And it's not equal to because I used an open circle. So you all have a spooktacular evening and, um, and a happy fall. And I look forward to seeing you in class tomorrow.